Hi, it's May 1st, 2020. Mayday, Mayday! Um, I'm just trying to make a video and put them out there once in a while. I was gonna do every day, but that's like crazy. <laughs> so, um, one thing I just wanted to mention, I'm looking at this bag. I switched into this really cute teal blue bag uh, a couple days ago, and the thing was it did not fit under the seat of my car when I'm driving around, that's really important to me. So I had this bag, it's more like a, it's like a laptop case almost, but it's big enough to carry all the stuff I need. It's quite um, heavy, some would say ugly, but I like this look. <clears throat> the thing is, I had this bag for a really long time. I got it for a steal at a Goodwill, like $5. But I noticed when I got it home that this part was was broken like it was uh, torn away and for a long time I'm like how am I gonna fix it I tried to glue it a couple times and this material just would not glue so I finally put a screw through it um, I have um, a hole punch that I got from I think Tandy leather shop you know to um, give my belts more holes and I think I used that put this screw through it and it is holding on just great. On the inside, I don't know, let's see if I can show you this. I, uh, since I was putting something there, I just attached a little clip. And right now I have um, this on it so um, I could get to my hand sanitizer real quickly. Anyway, so I switched into another bag. This one fits under my seat and still holds all my stuff. So there's that. Other thing I wanted to share today is sort of an unboxing. I did spend some money on Amazon recently. Um, buying safety equipment you know for this pandemic we all need some stuff um, that we probably didn't have in our arsenal before so um, I was looking for gloves masks whatever I, I have a video I have I don't know if I put it up or not maybe I'll attach it to this one um, about a snorkeling mask I bought um, in extreme cases you know if I ever have to be in a really tight con confines in a mask I could use a snorkeling mask with some some filter paper, some filter stuff in the um, in the areas that you breathe through. Um, so I haven't fixed it that way, but I do have the mask, and I bought it for about forty dollars off of Amazon. And I do have another video about that one. So I just wanted to unbox these couple of things that came in the mail. I'm not sure what they are really. Um, I do know what this is, but I want to talk about that second. And I just thought it'd be fun to open this. Like every day is Christmas. <laughs> no, not really. Um, I'm pretty sure, yes, I think I know what this is. Okay, so I was looking for masks. <laughs> this is awesome, you guys, okay. This is technically a mask. See, it says right on it, mask. Um, so I got it from Card and Party Giant, which is nice. I hope I just didn't give you too much information. It was about $17, $18 plus shipping, but I have Prime, so that really is cool. Um, yes, okay, this has a little secret to it. So, um, it's not technically a mask you would wear for protection. I... As you can tell, it's a Halloween mask. I'm just taking off the, um, the cardboard here. And you might have already seen the picture, but I am really curious about this. I thought, well, hey, you know, it's like a major sneeze guard. And um, at the same time, check that out. Is that so weird or what? It's like I don't have a face, right? And I can breathe in this, okay? And it's covered up. It's like a sneeze guard. There is like some plastic I could tear off. And maybe you can't see the great best reflection, but it's like a mirror. This is cool. I'm digging this. I might wear this. If for nothing else, I'll wear it as a costume. I love Halloween. Don't always get into it every year, but I do love Halloween. So I'm going to say that's a win. Because I think I could actually use that for protection. I think that this has a plastic plastic that I could 
pull off, but I'm not going to pull it off. It's just some extra protection. You can see through it just fine. I'm sure you probably couldn't hear hear me through it too well. But so we're all wearing face masks, the ones we made, the ones we borrowed from our toolboxes. But a lot of times what we're forgetting is that if you're trying to protect yourself, you also need some protection for your eyes. And there are a lot of safety glasses available on Amazon. I just came across this and um, it offered 12 safety shield glasses. Uh, I don't want to totally ruin the box. Um, rather than one for about the same price as if you were going to buy just one. Um, the whole box, well, the whole box was $16. No. Okay, $14.99 plus shipping. For 12, it has 12 face shields in here. And the thing is, obviously, I wear glasses. I don't need them to drive. But when I'm driving, sometimes I need to read. So I'm going to have to show you the second part of why this would work for me. Um, look how cool is this? For, you know, t less than $20, all these different color face shields. Now, let's see if they're... I have a pretty good big face. Like, when I ordered the goggles, I, you, you had to measure from the bridge of your nose to your chin. And if it was over 4.7 inches, so over a little bit over 4.5 inches, then you had to go for extra large. And I have extra large because I think from here to here is like close to 5 inches on me. I have a pretty big face. Um, so let's just use the clear for this example. Apparently there are, it's like, it looks so cute in the ad too, like every color of the rainbow. Um, oh, the sticker covers it up back here. That's too bad. I wish I could take the sticker off and show you on the back of this, all the colors and how cute the ad was. It's like, because I have all the colors, but it looks like we've got clear red, pink, that will match what I'm wearing today, uh, teal, or light blue, gray, orange, sort of a darker blue, yellow, um, oh, is this another pink? So I didn't know they were going to be this um, diverse. Okay, so one's sort of purpley and one's pink. And then this one is sort of brown, as the other one was more lighter orange, and a dark gray and green. So the thing is, what's going to make this really work for me? Ooh, it's getting warm in here. Over 100 degrees today, where I am. So a while back, I ordered these. Now I'm sorry, I can't remember what the prices were on these, but I think they're about $20 each. And these are called HydroTac. And you can get them, they're readers, and you can get them, these are three. Um, here's one, this is $175 and $250. You can get them in all different um, strengths, and they're just bifocal, stick-on bifocal lenses. I think you can put them on either the outside or the inside of your glasses and anywhere on the glasses but you know they're kind of suggesting you put them on the bottom like um, of the glasses so that you can use them like bifocals and I, that's probably what I will do with mine um, but I just, let's just look at these let's just have a look at these I guess I'll, I'll pull out the pinks because it's cute and it'll match what I'm wearing today um, because these go all the way around. See all my glasses, there's all this side. When I'm looking, I'm losing a lot of periphery when I'm driving. So hopefully, okay, so they're not completely clear on the sides, but they're clear all up in here. And this, this is curved. So let's see how these fit me. Yeah. That feels comfortable. My big cheeks do hit them, but it, it doesn't, it's not annoying. 
and it's giving me protection from any droplets that might be floating around in the air, which is nice. And then I can just put the little, um, you know, the glasses part on the bottom. Kind of cute. I'm kind of digging it. So that's my unboxing today. I hope y'all are doing good. And uh, I appreciate you stopping by, see what I'm up to. I hope that you're having fun with all this time off. <laughs> and um, yeah, so uh, you'll see me next time I do this. <laughs> Thank you.